Hello, 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 and welcome once again to Movies That Pop. I'm the Colonel. Let's see what popped up in theaters this week. Oh, mother, I can feel the soul falling over my head. Oh, mother. Dear God, I, I don't even know where to start with this movie. Look, I'm going to start with the fact that if I say anything about this movie, it's going to count technically as a spoiler. Because the trailers for Mother, emphasis on the exclamation point, don't tell you anything. So I'm going to describe in the vaguest of terms some of what transpires in the film by way of explaining the problems that I had with it. But if you truly wish to not know anything about the movie other than whether or not you should see it, you should know that Mother is an insane movie. And not in a good way, like that show, The Leftovers, especially in its final season. More like insane in the don't look directly in its eyes and back away slowly until you're sure you can get away safely kind of way. There are people out there calling this film a masterpiece. And now, hey, I'm happy that they enjoyed the film. As for me, I pretty much regret everything about the experience that I spent alternating between bored, frustrated, and downright angry. All right, so warning over, I didn't love it, and if you buy a ticket to this, you do it at your own peril. Now, for all of those that want a little more elaboration, I'll proceed in a manner that's a little more detailed, but that I still consider spoiler-free. Now, you should know up front that the entirety of Mother is metaphorical. It's a work of art rather than entertainment. It's not a storyteller telling a story, it's an artist. That would be director Darren Aronofsky using the medium of film to communicate with his audience. Now, just how successful he is at communicating, whether it's a story or an emotion or a point of view, that's the barometer by which I judge all things purporting to be art. And by that barometer, I found Mother to be unfocused, pretentious, sloppy, and surprisingly enough for such a lofty ambition as high art, pretty immature and simplistic. So, what is Mother? Well, it's a motion picture, all right. That much is certain. Let's see, uh, what else? It's, uh, it's in color. Yeah, it's got some great actors in it that have all at least been nominated for Academy Awards. So Mother tells the... Well, it appears to tell the story about what happens when a married couple, played by Oscar winners Jennifer Lawrence and Javier Bardem, who live alone in a rural house, and what happens when various people intrude upon their home. I say it appears to tell this story because it's clear from the first shot of this movie that the film isn't set in anything approaching reality. We are shown surreal imagery that morphs into the setting and characters who are never given names. Whoo-wee! We're in artsy land! No characters have any character names. Are you ready for more? So we pretty much know from the get-go that everything we're watching is to be meant as a metaphor. The plot, such as it is, involves an unexpected visitor in the form of Oscar nominee Ed Harris, who arrives one day at the door and who is shown really, really unprecedented hospitality by Bardem, while Lawrence gets more and more uncomfortable with what she sees in her her own home. Soon Harris's wife, played by Oscar nominee Michelle Pfeiffer, arrives, and events begin to spiral out of Lawrence's control in increasingly unrealistic fashion. Like I said, we know from the very first that what we're seeing isn't based in reality. We know that it's a metaphor, and while we're casting around trying to grasp what each person, place, or object is supposed to stand for, and believe me, during the brutally sluggish first half, we get plenty of time to think. The whole movie slips into the realm of the tedious. Once I figured out the metaphor, and if you know your Bible as well as I do, you will sooner or later, I didn't feel rewarded for it because the movie really has no insight. It's all just symbolism. So when I ultimately realized what the symbols were and I started to track them, I was like, oh, oh, oh. But don't worry, don't worry, because just when the first half brings its analogy to a close, the movie takes an abrupt shift. Everything resets, and the movie just becomes about something else, I think. Suddenly, the earlier metaphors don't track all the way through. They morph and they shift, and I think there's a lot crammed in there about the nature of fame, the burden of artistic expression, our responsibility to the planet, or something. This is where I want to say that Aronofsky wasn't successful in communicating, because his themes are muddled so thoroughly and dispensed with such unfocused rage that the second half could stand as a metaphor for the film itself. It goes straight to freaking crazy town. And when a piece of art goes to crazy town, it can be exhilarating, but only if the audience members are properly engaged. The movie lost me early, so when the crazy train left the station, I was still fuming on the platform. In that absolutely bonkers final half hour, every theme is placed in a blender. Metaphors lose their consistency, and everything that used to mean something now means something else, and thus means nothing. This movie means nothing. 
Now, technically, it's well made, the actors are effective, the below-the-line crew is first-rate, especially the sound design, which is impeccable and has a very wide sonic range. But damn if this movie wasn't, to quote the bard, full of sound and fury, but signifying nothing. Small bag of popcorn for Mother! There are some out there, and I know because I've been reading their reviews, that are hailing this as a complicated masterpiece from a brilliant artist. Now, I'm here to tell you that this movie is full of misplaced rage, conflicting ideas, and no real point when all is said and done. And whether you are fascinated or repulsed or both, it's still something that I personally could not abide. That does it for this edition of Movies That Pop. Don't forget to follow me, the Colonel, on Twitter, at Movies That Pop. And click the icon right down there to visit our channel if you'd like to see more, and support us by clicking subscribe while you're there, and by clicking the thumbs up icon below. I would really love to hear your thoughts on Mother in the comments as well. Whether you loved it or you hated it, I honestly want to know why. But beware spoilers in that comment section, though. I mentioned that at the top, that this movie is difficult to talk about without giving up any details, and I hope I've accomplished that in this review. In the meantime, thanks for watching. I'm the Colonel, and this movie is one bad mother.